Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Behringer SL75C versus the BA85A. Let's dive right in. So welcome back to the channel guys, it's great to see you again. Today we're going to be reviewing two microphones from Behringer. One's the SL75C and one is the BA85A. As you can see this does look quite similar to the Shure SM58 Beta and this does look quite similar to the Shure SM57. Both of them classic microphones, pretty much industry standards really. Now the difference between these Behringer microphones and their Shure counterparts is that these just cost a fraction of the price. But I've been thinking a lot about this recently and the purpose of today's test is to compare both of these microphones against each other and we'll do that on both vocals and on guitar. What I've really been wondering is, do these microphones each have their own character? Could they be used complementary to one another or do they need to be used individually for individual purposes? So what we're going to do today is compare them both side by side, head to head, in exactly the same way, using exactly the same settings, so the only differences you're going to hear are what's coming from the microphone themselves. So let's dive right into the sound test and I'll come back at the end with some conclusions and some final thoughts. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay guys, let's wrap this video up with a few final thoughts and conclusions. But before we go any further, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to know that you're as into this as I am, and it helps my channel grow. So please hit the like and subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Now let's get back on with this. So there were a few objectives with this video. As well as being interested to see how these microphones sound, I was really interested to see whether the BA58A and the SL75C had their own character. Do they have their own distinct voice and can they be used complementary to one another or are they better suited to be used apart? I would be really interested to hear your thoughts. Do you think the 58A is better suited to vocals? And do you think the 75C is actually better suited to instruments like the guitar? Or did you think there was very little or no difference at all? The fact is that we as musicians can spend very little on microphones and get some really good recordings these days. For sure you're always going to have your brand snobs that refuse to use anything other than the original equipment and I think that's a shame. The brand name written on the equipment really doesn't take away from the music that you're making and it doesn't make you an inferior artist if you're using budget brands. Actually, I personally think it shows ingenuity and a willingness to embrace other tools that help you get the job done. So yeah, overall I'd say the Behringer SL75C and the BA85A are good investments even though it's not a lot of money. These things should last you a long, long time. And when you really figure out and start to master your recording process, I'm sure these two tools will come in really handy for many, many years to come. So that wraps it up for today, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one.